HighTouch is the easiest way to sync customer data into your business tools. Let's say we're Amazon and we want to run a marketing campaign giving customers coupons to repurchase items they've previously bought. In order to do that, we need to sync customer orders from our data warehouse in BigQuery to our HubSpot CRM. Let's do this in less than five minutes without having to write a single script or mess with HubSpot's API directly ourselves. First, we need to select which data for a warehouse to send by creating a model. I've already pre-created a model here in SQL in my BI tool that combines users as well as the most recent product they've purchased. So I'll go ahead and copy that. Alternatively, I could also go in and select a DBT model from my warehouse that I already have created uh, that are back to the version control to get. But for now, I'll go ahead and just use the query that I created. I can go ahead and preview it. And it's running on the warehouse, looks great. Continue, I'll call it products ordered. And I'll go ahead and select email as my primary key because emails are unique. Now, what if I'm a less technical user that doesn't know SQL, but I still wanted to find the data I need in my tools? Fortunately, HighTouch provides a visual filtering feature that lets you filter on top of the models you've, your data team has already built. So in this case, I'll go ahead and take the model that I wrote in SQL before and visually filter it to only include users that are in San Francisco. All right, I'll go ahead and preview it again. Looks great. Continue. All the products ordered in SF, and I'll collect email again as my primary key. Great. Finally, the last step is to create a sync, which is where everything comes together, and it's how data from my warehouse ends up in a tool like HubSpot. So I'll go ahead and select the model I had before, and I can go ahead and set M, uh, this HubSpot as my destination. This could be any other tool, like for example, Salesforce, an ad tool, or anything in between. Now I need to select which type of object I want to update in HubSpot. Because I want to add information about my users, I'll go ahead and add contacts here. And in terms of the update mode, I'll go ahead and choose Upsert so that it adds new records that aren't in HubSpot yet, as well as updates existing ones. Next, we define how to match records from our warehouse model to contacts in HubSpot. HighTouch lets you map on any unique ID, so you're not just restricted by something too rigid like a HubSpot ID. So let's map them based on emails, because in this case, emails are unique. So I'll go ahead and select the email field in my model and email field in HubSpot. Finally, we can select which fields on our contact to update in HubSpot. So for a marketing campaign, we need to know the description and SKU of the products the customers bought. So we'll sync those fields. So I can go ahead and find the SKU. And I create a SKU field already in HubSpot. I'll go ahead and pick the description and map that to the product in HubSpot as well. And that's about it. Because continue, and now I have to decide how frequently I want this sync to run. Because I want to reach customers as close as I can to when they made their purchase decision, I'm going to go ahead and run this every five minutes, and I'll finish. All right, now the sync is created, and it's going to go ahead and automatically kickstart the first sync. I can see already that four rows were added. Now this is HighTouch's live debugger, so I can go ahead and see, actually, and click on a row, and see the exact API requests that are made, and the response that I heard as well. This is super helpful when identifying errors as well. Now I can go ahead and, and go back to HubSpot and see here that I actually have the data updated. So I can go ahead and click Linda Jenkins and see that she ordered this product and the SKU number. And all right, that's it. Next step for me is just to create the marketing campaign. Thanks so much.